At work over the holiday, I was lucky enough to come across a bunch of old microwaves and TVs, a few of which are uh, shown here. The microwave I'll take apart for its high voltage components, and the televisions, three of which can be seen here, are all defective and will only be good as hair cannon targets. So let's grab a TV and uh, have a little more fun than just throwing it in the bin. For this television I'll be using the fire extinguisher tank and solenoid valve air cannon. The solenoid is electronically operated. The 72 inch caliber 812 barrel is attached to the cannon and I will be shooting this 1960 grain hard alloy lead slug at the television. Let's get set up and fire. Today's air cannon TV is a 20 inch CRT color TV Prima brand. Not terribly Primo anymore. I've prepared it by removing the back cover of the TV, then I took my grinder, cut part of the top frame away, and it can be seen here that I have cut the implosion band and loosened it in order to get a better CRT pop. This old CRT TV is ready to be carried 10 meters downrange and prepared for the air cannon. The TV has been set up in front of my uh, backstop so that there's no risk of uh, a round going through the TV and anywhere it shouldn't. My one inch steel backstop will catch everything. Let's do this television. Uh, the TV fired up to a blue screen despite me cutting the implosion band and taking the back off. So while it's working, let's go pull the trigger on it. It appears that my shot with that 1960 grain lead slug hit the TV and broke it. Excellent. Here's an initial look at the wreckage. The CRT is completely pulverized, and it looks like my uh, huge slug must have hit the yoke because I see a lot of torn up uh, yoke wiring. Now I can see the HV wire, and it doesn't look like the HV stayed going on this one after the shot. Oh well, maybe one of the other ones will. Uh, keep discharging HV after it's been shot. That happens now and then. It looks like I put my slug pretty much through the center of the screen. I'll only find out when I review the high-speed video in editing, but it sure smashed the 
yoke to bits. As we can see from the shredded wire and uh, smashed parts of the yoke here.